karibu chano yetu ya Danjik TV jina langu ni Daniel Geshehe na washukuru wote ambao wako Kenya na nje ya Kenya. Ah, leo nataka tuzungumze kuhusu wale ambao wako Gaf. Na kuna dada mmoja ambaye anaitwa Rusi Opur ambaye yuko Saudi Arabia ako na ujumbe kwa wa Kenya ambao those planning to go to the Gaf countries. Ah, uh, unajua saa zingine nawaambia na mambo ya GAF. Unasikia tena mtu amefika huko amemaliza mwezi mmoja, amemaliza wiki mbili, ameanza kulia oh Danjik, nisaidie nitoke huku oh Danjik, nime kazi ni mingi huku. Ningeataka pia ujue wewe ambao una plan kutoka Kenya uende kazi huko. Kazi ya kwanza lazima ufanye. Kazi ni ngumu sana. Uh, na kazi ni mingi. So kuna dada yetu ambaye ni Rusi anataka kuzungumza na wa Kenya ambao wako ghafi unajua nyinyi ndio mnaniambianga vile mambo yalivyo ya huko ghafi na Rusi pia ako na maoni yake angeataka kushare na wa Kenya so ningeataka tusikize Rusi na kabla tusikize Rusi alinitumia message ndio imenifurahisha sana hapa Ah, <laughs> uh, unajua saa zingine message kama hizi zinafanyanga mtu anapata nguvu. Eh? Hello there. I am Eunice Opuru, a Kenyan lady but currently working in Saudi. Kudos to your good work. May God continue to bless you and your family. Amen, Lucy. Asante sana kwa kujitolea kwako kwa kusikia bilio vya wa Kenya na kuwashughulikia wanaohitaji msaada. Manze <laughs> na kosa words. But acha Mungu akulinde na akupe maisha marefu yenye baraka tele kwa kazi nzuri unayoifanya. Amen. Opuru. <laughs> Another day. Hello. Hope you are fine and doing well. Please, would you mind if I send you some of my videos so that you can share on social media? Ah, uh, it's just some advice to all ladies planning to go to any Gulf country. Ah, uh, ningeataka tusikize Rusi kutoka South Arabia. Hi guys. Kwa majina ni Eunice Opuru, a Kenyan lady, currently working here in Saudi as a house manager. First of all, I just thank God for the gift of life, for he has made me to be who I am today, and I give him all the glory and the honor. Yeah, kuna vitu nilikuwa nataka kushare na nini, let me just speak it in Swahili, so that message na izafikia wa Kenya wenzangu kule. Ya yeah, kuna zile rumors zilikuwa zimetokea kula wale azina tukienda Saudi mtakula nyoka. No, no 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 no. Here we don't eat snakes. Arabs don't eat snakes. It is haram. Ya yeah, it is haram. Hawali nyoka. Haikubaliki na sheria na mila ya dini ya Kiislam. Secondly, mambo na kusema ti wanaosha maiti. Kuna rumors zilitokea kula wale tu ati ho kienda Saudi utaosha maiti unapewa maiti kuosha sijui nini nini no muislamu muarabu na maiti ni kama mbingu na ardhi hakuna kutangamana once mtu amekufa mazishi yanafanyika immediately hakuna maneno ya kuweka maiti kwa nyumba hiyo ni uongo <coughs> secondly sorry thirdly maneno ya kusema ti <coughs> sorry ati kuna kulala na madogi huko. No, it's a big lie. Huko hakuna madogi na kuna mtio yote ashailala na umbo huko. I'm telling you that one for free. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> that one I'm telling you for free. Yam, alafu pia ukikuja huko ishi na ufanye kazi kwa masharti. Follow the rules and regulations of that house. For example, kipewa, ukiambiwa some of the rooms you are not supposed kuingia, usitubutu kuingia, 
na usisisitize kujua ni nini unakatazwa why why are you being denied to enter into that room usikuwe na hiyo masharti ma, as in usisisitize kujua sana just follow the instruction fanya kazi kulingana na vile unaambiwa at the end of the day shughulika na ujue ni nini kili kilikupeleka kule uliko yeah Alafu for the ladies kama uko na hiyo damu ya usharati my dear. Wa chuma chako kiko motoni. Kozi huku once umepatikana umefanya mapenzi na mboss wako ama mtoto wa mboss ama any of the relatives. Unachukuliwa hatua. For the guy atahukumiwa kunyongwa and for the lady you will serve the rest of your life in prison. Yeah. My madam amenipatia siri amenifuchilia <laughs> siri zingine za huko nje yao hata nimesoma soma katiba yao ya yeah. kipatikana unaiba mkono wako wa kulia unakatwa that is it mkono unakatwa hiyo ni kutibitisha <coughs> wewe ni mwi wewe ni mwizi and for the rapist ukipatikana umerep na kuna evidence ya kuonyesha kuwa wewe umerep na ulipatikana pia utahukumiwa kufanywa nini kunyonga kunyongwa i mean and for the lady pia you will serve your life in prison first kwa nini reason being mbona huku report kisa kama hicho ulikanyagia na ukanyamazia sasa pia utachukuliwa hatua another thing is that huku there is no that freedom of movement kama huko Kenya as in unaweza move any place you feel like oh i miss those days in Kenya huku hakuna hakuna mambo na kuchukua videos anyhow li, photos anyhow li venye unapenda kama kule Kenya umeona incident inafanyika wewe ndio huyo unapiga picha wewe ndio huyo no huku ni watu wamejistiri na huwa wataki mambo yao yafanye nini ya kuwa shared kwa media ukipatikana pia hiyo ni hatia na utachukuliwa hatua kali sana utakuja jutia jelani kama ni picha ya mtoto mdozi wako kama ni nyumba yake kama unataka kupiga picha kwa nyumba yake make sure amekupatia permission don't do it without her or his permission yeah please i'm begging you ju unaweza fanya hivyo ukisema hmm, nana na niona some of them cctv zao zimefichwa hata uwezi jua ti kuna cctv but watakuja tu kushtue hmm? come and see this and this yeah so please don't dare then there is this thing called ikama the first the first the first three months make sure mdozi wako amekutafutia kitu inaitwa ikama what is ikama ikama is a identity card ya any gulf country yenye upo hiyo ni kama national id ya huko Kenya hiyo ya hiyo ya kujulisha ikama inakufahamisha kuwa uko mahali kwa country fulani for this period of time. Yeah, so there is no movement of that of going anywhere without that ikama. But ukiwa na ikama, you are in safe hands. Na pia hata kama uko na ikama haimaanishi kwa utazunguka venye unataka. Huku hapana. Haustahili kuzunguka vile unapenda. Hapana. Kama ni kutoka mwatoka na mdozi wako, mnatoka pamoja, mnarudi pamoja. Yeah huku sio kama Kenya tu ukijisikia kwenda penye unajisikia unaenda anytime you feel like no hakuna mambo kama hiyo alafu tena for the ladies who oh, i'm so sorry to tell you this if you know kuna ile damu huwezi hmm? jistiri please don't dare juu kama ni kuslay utaslay na nani huko saa ngapi na ni wapi hakuna time kama hiyo hakuna time ya kuslay ya yeah, kama unajua tu hauwezi usijaribu hata kushughulika na hiyo mambo na safari na pia if you are lazy usitubutu cause you'll be the first person to complain oh there is too much a lot of work na teswa sijui nini if you are lazy tafadhali vumilia tu Kenya ya yeah, huku kuna kazi tunapambana but by god's grace some of the ladies who are na faulu ya yeah. Again 
jua ni nini kimekupeleka kule penye huko kama ni kazi chapa kazi fanya kazi kulingana na sababu yenye umekufanya ukatoka Kenya ukaenda end of the gulf country umeenda kwa sababu ya kutafuta you've gone there for the green pastures I love the, these ladies wako na ujinga sana azimuta na kupigia simu hi sasa uko wapi uko i mean uko town gani anaanza kukuchocha anakuambia hmm bozi wako akoje siji ho at mimi niko na bozi mzuri nitakuconnect siji ni kupeleke mahali pazuri utalipwa fiti don't please make sure kama umeenda kwa mdozi mwenye umeenda make sure you finish your contract ukiwa pale if you're not comfortable with that make sure umeenda ofisini ukabadilishwa kwa nyumba ingine lakini sio ati wewe mwenyewe unajifanyia uamuzi ama umepigwa simu na beshta yako ati anaku, anakutafutia mahali penye utalipwa poa sijui nini nini some of the ladies hawakutaki mazuri yeah wanafanya hivyo kukuharibia i have more more of, some of my friends wamefanywa hivyo at the end of the day some of them wamekuwa deported kisa na maana walianza urui madharau kwa boss ho huyu ame convince ho unakuja huku utapewa sum of pengine 1500 reals ama 2000 reals ukienda kule maybe utapewa 800 reals ama 750 ama ikienda sana 900 hapo umejiharibia so be very careful with those ladies wengine ni kukuharibia tu mtu atakuharibia na kuambia ho na kutafutia deal kwa relative ya boss wake at the end of the day ukienda kule mambo si yale yenye ulikuwa unatarajia tafadhali mjiadhari